afternoon everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa and this is growing on Vancouver Island I am so excited for today's video I'm currently standing in one of my back flower beds right beside a newly purchased nectarine tree I was lucky enough to find this at our local Home Depot last night as a local garden center I went to was sold out of them in one day so I was very very excited to get my hands on one and let me just swing around and show you the tree so here is our nectarine tree and this is roughly the location where it's going to go so this is an unknown variety. I'll give you a quick look at the tag. Doesn't list very much information about it on the tag. We have the height listed and uh, that it's good for color, the culinary uses and abundant harvest needs full sun. Maturity varies, hardiness minus six degrees Celsius. So we don't have a lot of information here. It doesn't tell us the variety or really the true size of the tree, but I have picked this location because it is going to be just a little bit further forward from where it is now. And I'm gonna swing back and show you the uh, rough location of what's around it it's going to be slightly under the overhang well not quite as it grows it will be under the overhang we've got some boxwoods sort of in between and a hedge of emerald cedars and the other unique thing about this location for this tree is that we have a dryer vent located right on the other side of our emerald cedars and that dryer vent, if you're standing out here in the middle of winter where the tree is, you will feel a nice warm breeze come through. So I think the tree is going to be extremely happy in this location. So um, let's get started on planting. I will mention that um, I've wanted this tree for as long as we've had our house for eight years and I was always too afraid to plant it because I thought I didn't have the gardening know-how to take care of a nectarine because they're so prone to disease and pests in our area particularly something called peach leaf curl but two years ago I decided to finally buy a peach tree which wasn't really on my bucket list but I thought if I can't get a nectarine, maybe I can get a peach. This is my peach right here. It's growing just a short distance from where I'm putting the nectarine tree. And this peach has performed so well in the two years I've had it. Uh, last year was its second season. It produced 17 of the most delicious tropical tasting peaches I have ever tasted and the tree is completely free of diseases and pests not a single leaf curl like it is amazing i don't spray any of my fruit trees so this is just good gardening know-how and good luck coming my way so i'm hoping for the same with my nectarine tree so let's get to planting so before we get started on planting my new nectarine tree, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the fertilizers I'm going to be using to amend my soil with. So first, I'm going to be using this product called Oyster Shell Flower. It is a, uh, I believe it's organic, a natural soil conditioner derived from oyster shells which are an organic source of high quality calcium carbonate for your plants, which is easily absorbed and absorbed, which is great for long-term fertilizing. And oyster shell flower balances pH levels in acidic soils, which we have extremely acidic soils in my yard, and promotes healthy root growth, as well as helping to create aerated loamy soil. So we'll use a little bit of this. We're going to use some of my mycorrhizae 
that we have used a few times in previous videos, which helps roots, helps the plant's roots absorb nutrients fr uh, from the soil better, as well as water better. It somehow allows uh, the roots to take up nutrients and water in a more effective way. And then we're also going to use my Bone Meal Plus fertilizer, a little bit of granular kelp, and some neem meal. tree all planted in its new home and that's going to be all for today thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one have a lovely afternoon